Also went to Amazon and I found this, the Crucial P3, 500 gigabytes for 50 euro and 3,500 megabits per second. And that got me thinking, are 500 gigabytes hard drives dead since they're around the same price, but slower? Let's talk about it. So here's the Crucial P3, 500 gigabytes, 3,500 megabits per second. And then there's the Seagate Barracuda. For around the same price, you're getting the same storage, but only 20 times slower speeds. Like, it's 140 megabits per second, compared to 3,500 megabits per second for the same price. So that pretty much makes this 500 gigabyte hard drive dead. But this is sort of the same thing for the one terabyte edition, so you can get the, since you can get the Crucial P2 for nearly double the price, but it's way faster speed. So when it, turn, when it comes to one terabyte, you're more focused on if you want storage or if you want speed. But honestly, if you're getting a hard drive or one terabyte, you're just going for storage. But then it gets special when it comes to the two terabyte. A two terabyte Barracuda hard drive, 76 euros. Go to two terabyte M.2 SSD, you're looking at the 200 euro range. And sure, the speeds are way higher. But if you're just looking for storage, especially two terabytes, because let's be honest, who would get a two terabyte hard drive unless like using it for storage? Really, you should stay away from 500 gigabyte hard drives. You're just not worth your money now. One terabyte is a bit of middle, two terabyte is definitely worth the money when it comes to just storage. 